Hey guys, we're here at the Air Venturi booth, SHOT Show 2018. This is the double shot, all right? Why do they call it the double shot? Two barrels of ultimate badassery right here. This is, of course, first and foremost, an air shotgun, basically. You can call this the big brother of the wing shot if you want to. Um, I am just calling it awesome. Uh, we have an air distributor system here. This is going to allow you to quickly flip between the left and the right barrel. It is absolutely fantastic. It works super smooth. And all you have to do, you cock the gun, you turn it, and you are good to go. Of course, if you're gonna shoot something, maybe like these guys, these air bolts out of this, you're gonna have to take off these chokes. Um, they did let me play around with this before we came out to shot. This is, of course, like one of two prototypes right now. Um, but guys, this is super awesome. 18 inch pattern at 20 yards with both barrels. Um, and you're able to put four of these, you know, one after the other with one reload in between uh, into about a three inch group at 35 yards. This thing is going to be a hunter's dream. You got a quick follow up shot with these air bolts. What more could you ask for guys? So really cool, uh, brand new. This is gonna be uh, under the Seneca line, the double shot, one you're gonna wanna check out in 2018. All right, guys, we are back at the Air Venturi booth. Um, this is a cool little rifle that uh, caught my eye here at the booth. They're calling this the TR-5. Now, this guy is a youth target rifle, very reminiscent of the IZH-61 that we can no longer get here in the States. So you got a five round repeating system. Of course, this is a spring piston side lever gun. Uh, you can see that side lever right here. You simply lift up on it and go to the side and you're able to go ahead, pull that back. And you can actually, you just saw that index right there. So this is all gonna work really, really simply and smoothly for those junior shooters out there. Uh, you got a rail underneath for mounting a sling accessory. And of course, we're gonna put target sights on this. Uh, so I would imagine you're gonna probably see uh, some sort of aperture sights, you know, probably similar to what we used to see on that IZH model, um, but some updates. They made a little update to the design as far as I can see here. You have a quick adjusting buttstock and it feels like it's got about six positions in it. Uh, as well as an up and down adjustable butt pad here via this thumb screw on the back. So you loosen it, you can actually move that rubber butt pad up and down. Uh, this one's gonna be a great option to get the kids into some target shooting with, or if you're just looking to plink in the backyard, probably gonna be a really, really good choice uh, and one to keep an eye on as the year goes forward. Back at the Air Venturi booth, guys, these guys keep coming out with new products, it's crazy. This is the Hellboy, all right? This is in their uh, Hellraiser line, they're calling it. Um, this is basically your AR M4 replica. Um, and this feels pretty damn real to me, guys. Um, you can see you got the flip open dust port there, the ejection port. Um, here's all the features this thing has packed in, guys. You have the fully adjustable six point butt stock here. Uh, and it, this castle nut actually can come loose, so it does seem like at least you can change out your buffer tube and your butt stock if you so choose. Uh, we do have a selector switch over here on this side. Now you'll notice it does say auto. They are telling me this does not function in full auto, only semi-automatic, even when you do have it on that auto selector. Eh, but that's all right. They're telling me they're hitting good targets with this thing, you know, a 12 by 12 target at out to 40 yards with BBs, all right? That's pretty awesome. You got a drop free mag that's gonna house 18 BBs and one CO2 cartridge. You're saying 50 to 60 shots. Um, guys, it looks like honestly, you could replace all of these accessories with just about anything you want on here. And for those of you that want a little bit more precision, you can even unscrew this and you got a flat top rail on top. Uh, this is actually really awesome. If you're looking to do some action shooting or practice uh, for what you're gonna be doing out in the field, maybe in three gun with your real AR, the Hellboy's gonna be one to check out. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we're back at SHOT Show 2018, still at the Air Venturi booth. We are taking a look at the brand new Seneca Dragonfly. Uh, this actually looks a lot like the Diana Storm Rider, except that it is a multi-pump. All right, so check that out. You're able to get eight pumps with this in 177. You're looking at about 800 feet per second, they're telling me, and about 622. Coolest thing about this though, multi-pump, multi-shot. You slide just like the Storm Rider, you slide the single shot tray out and a magazine fits right in here. 
nine rounds in 177 and seven in 22. Uh, same magazines as the Storm Rider, so those are already readily available. Um, so a little solid five pound gun, multi-pump gun, is gonna be perfect for you preppers out there. Open sights, of course, uh, and you're gonna be able to mount a scope on the 11 millimeter dovetail, guys. Uh, again, if you've been looking for a multi-pump rifle, whether you're looking to get a youth shooter into it or you are looking to do some hunting yourself without having to worry about a spring or a piston breaking on you or having to fill up a gun with a PCP, multi-pump pneumatic, the Dragonfly's coming your way. Check it out in 2018. Hey guys, back here at the Air Venturi booth. Last thing we're gonna show you here today, and probably the most significant. Uh, I'm watching this display here. It's got me a little mesmerized, so I apologize if I zone out. These are the Dust Devil BBs. This is the world's first and only frangible BB. Frangible means it breaks apart when it hits a hard target, guys. That means you could shoot your steel targets, uh, your plinking stuff. We got a gong target, you know, on the website there. You can shoot any of these hard targets and these BBs break apart. These work in almost every BB gun you got out there. Uh, I think they don't work in the MP40, which was, I, I was really bummed to hear that. Uh, but any of your single stack magazine BB pistols or rifles, these are gonna work great in. They're a little bit lighter than your traditional 5.1 grain steel BB. Uh, so they are gonna go a bit faster as well, but this is a way safer option uh, than your traditional steel BB and even than your smart shot BBs, which are low ricochet. If those are low ricochet, these are no ricochet is what I'm being told. So that's really cool. 1500 counts, probably gonna be around 10 bucks. Um, guys, these are gonna make shooting BB guns a lot more fun. We're gonna be using these quite a bit here on the Insider in 2018, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so I was about to leave the Air Venturi booth uh, and they told me they got a, a licensing deal with Springfield Armory. Pretty cool. Uh, actually, the first pistol I ever bought, real steel, uh, nine millimeter pistol, was an XDM and this is the exact replica of that gun. Now, this is an airsoft version. They're also gonna have BB versions, full blowback, uh, drop-free mag. I, guys, this feels just like the real thing. They even have the texturing down and I'm told it comes with the interchangeable back straps as well. Uh, functional grip safety, I, come on, this is awesome. Uh, this is going to make uh, training at home. If you have a Springfield pistol, there's gonna be some 1911s out there as well. Uh, awesome stuff here, guys. This is really gonna open it up. I can't think of many brands now that aren't represented with an air gun replica. Springfield Armory was one of the last ones that wasn't, and Air Venturi is gonna take care of that for us. But not only do they have pistols, guys, that are coming, but they're doing rifles too. Harkening back to a little bit of an older time here, we have the M1 carbine replica. Uh, this is actually, this is full metal, uh, and it fe this is a wood stock. Uh, I'm told there's gonna be a synthetic stock option available for a little bit less, probably around 199 or so, uh, but this wood stock option is definitely gonna be available. They're telling me this is a full blowback gun uh, in the airsoft version, CO2 cartridge, Looks like a drop-free mag again here. Yep, CO2 right in the bottom. Uh, so I'm expecting the BB version is probably gonna be very similar. And of course, the venerable M1A. Now, this is a Springer Airsoft version that they have here for show, but they tell me they're working on a bunch of other versions, which include CO2 as well. So if you are an M1A fan uh, and looking for something, not only in Airsoft, but also in steel BB, uh, to replicate the feel of maybe your real M1A or an M14, uh, definitely one to check out, guys. This is a huge deal for the guys at Air Venturi. Um, really cool, looking forward to seeing what they put out in 2018. We're gonna check out the rest of the show now, guys. Stay tuned here with the Insider at SHOT Show. Hey guys, we're here at the Umarex booth. Obviously, Umarex did big, big things in the PCP world in 2017 and in 2018, they are not going to disappoint. The hammer is here, guys. Um, very, very impressive changes and upgrades, in my opinion, uh, to this gun here. Now they're saying made in America. I don't know what exactly all qualifies as made in America. That's not really the important part. Let's talk about some of the performance specs they're talking about here. You have a 4,500 PSI carbon fiber cylinder on this gun, which is regulated at 3,000 PSI. Gun has a two round magazine in it, and that's gonna give you, you should be able to get two to three good shots on a fill at this at up to 700 foot pounds. Seven zero zero, guys. That is a ton of power. This will be the world's most powerful production big bore uh, 
and man, I can't wait to get my hands on this, guys. I know it looks like a pretty big gun, obviously, fully shrouded barrel, um, but this thing doesn't handle that heavy, guys. And, and quite frankly, the balance, throwing it up to the, the eye there, is really, really nice. Um, talking about a brand new valve design, their light speed valve in this gun, which should be able to deliver not only that big power, but also a very quick jolt sock, shot cycle that should be really, really shooter friendly. Um, and a two pound cocking effort, you just pull it back like that, push it forward. Let's try the trigger here real quick. For a big bore, guys, that's pretty good. Um, overall, the Umarex Hammer is definitely one you're gonna wanna check out. 50 caliber, 700 foot-pounds, 2018, big things coming. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we're back at the Umarex booth, checking out some new RWS guns. Now, uh, these are going to be made in Germany and America. So this is gonna be an interesting kind of mashup between Umarex Germany and Umarex USA uh, to deliver what is gonna hopefully be a very high quality spring piston gun. Uh, this is the 3400 and we have the 3500 right behind me. Um, obviously you can tell some really nice stocks on here. Uh, you got some nice checkering in there. It looks like we do have an adjustable trigger as well, and you can definitely tell this is taking departure from the traditional RWS line as we have a fiber optic front sight up there. And even uh, as far as the safety goes, this looks very similar to what they're doing with the Walther guns. So we have a lot of new updated features, kind of a mashup gun here between the historically uh, significant RWS line and what Umarex is wanting to do with updating some of these features. So definitely one we're gonna be checking out on the Insider here in 2018. Looking forward to this one a lot, stay tuned. All right guys, back at Umarex, checking out some Glock stuff. Uh, Umarex got the Glock license earlier in 2017 and looking at these, I gotta tell you, these feel pretty realistic. Now, these are some early samples here, and it looks like we got a drop-free BB mag here. So pretty nice CO2 is gonna be housed in the grip. You can see that piercing screw there at the bottom, but we don't have blowback on this particular version, so this is probably gonna be a lower price point gun right here, uh, but definitely some cool stuff gonna be coming out of this Umarex Glock relationship. We're looking forward to hearing more about it in 2018. Guys, check this out. I saw a video of this gun just before SHOT Show, lit up the internet. This is the Umarex Legends Cowboy Rifle. You see that in there? You know what that's gonna be doing? That's ejecting shells. You guys remember those shells that come with the, uh, the John Wayne pistols, the Colt single action pistols. Those are exactly what we're talking about. You load those shells up right into here. One BB, of course, in each of those shells, and you are good to go. Blasting with lever action fun. Two CO2 cartridges, I believe, in the back of this thing. Guys, this is the real deal. Um, this is exactly what we've been looking for. Add that realism factor with that shell ejection. I could do this all day, guys. Umarex is gonna nail this one. Very excited to get it on the Insider in 2018. 